Today we'll be showing you how to live stream to friends and servers on Discord. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. Discord isn't just a great chat application for gamers. It has many streaming features built in as well, especially game streaming. Whether you're an esports team leader who wants an easy way to review with your entire team, or someone who just wants to share screens with friends or a significant other, we've got you covered. Let's dive into everything you need to know to stream on Discord. So what do I need to stream on Discord? Well, mainly you need a good upload speed. On my connection, which supports up to five megabits upload a second, Discord streaming at 720p and 60 FPS works fairly smoothly. With higher upload speeds, pushing higher resolutions, that shouldn't be an issue. To quickly check your upload speed, head over to speedtest.net. Do I need Nitro to stream on Discord? Nitro is the premium version of Discord. You don't need to subscribe to Nitro to start streaming. But without Nitro, your maximum stream quality is limited to 720p and 30fps. Streaming at higher resolutions or frame rates is impossible without a Nitro membership. 720p 30 is still perfectly viewable, but in my experience, streaming at those settings or streaming at 60fps offers a more visually smooth and consistent experience, even with TV shows that don't reach 30fps as well. The differences between the Discord streaming quality settings. Now, since you're streaming video here, note that all of your video will be compressed and encoded. Uncompressed 480p will look better than streamed 480p, for example. Now, for 480p, the lowest setting matching standard definition TV signals. This is not ideal in any scenario, but it may be necessary if you're dealing with below five megabits a second upload speed. Now for 720p, this is the balance setting. It matches HD TV signals, and it's good enough for visual quality for most games and videos and shows. This should be the target for most people. And with 1080p, this is a high HD TV signal. The higher number is better, who would have guessed? And, but it's only available for Nitro users. Now the source used for resolutions higher than 1080p, like 1440p and 4K, this is better, but it's unlikely to work well unless you have a super high upload speed. And it's only available to Nitro users as well. Now, 15 FPS, if you wish to share your entire screen at full screen uh, and you aren't showing actual video, 15 FPS is actually a great choice. For instance, if you're trying to share text or demonstrate step-by-step -step instructions to a friend or relative, stuff like PowerPoint presentations should also translate flawlessly to a 15 FPS stream. 30 FPS is pretty decent for video streaming, uh, especially when trying to stream shows or videos to friends. Raw gaming signals work fine with 30 FPS as well. And 60 FPS is the best experience. This is what you should be aiming for, but it's only available to Nitro users. Now, before you stream, be sure to head into your settings and make sure that both open H.264 video codec um, is provided by Visco Systems and the H.264 hardware acceleration are enabled. Not only will these improve the performance of Discord in general, but they will greatly improve the performance of your streaming. Now, let's get into the meat of it. In the past, streams were only available to servers, but now you can stream to your friends in a one-on-one -on -one call as well. The interface is the same for both options, and so is the prerequisite, being in a call whether that's a DM call or joining a voice channel in your favorite server. Now, step one. Once you're in a call, you can start the process by either clicking screen at the bottom left of your Discord UI or the share your screen button in the main window. Either will work. Step two. The screen share will pop up and allow you to choose which video you want to stream. Step three. Once you've selected what you want to stream, it's time to set the quality. Now, if you have options blanked out, it means you can't access them unless you upgrade to Discord Nitro. Choose your quality settings, then click go live. And now you're streaming. So by clicking the arrow at the bottom of the monitor or the logo at the bottom of the screen, you can also change your stream settings in real time. And that's it. Now you can easily stream on Discord to your friends, family, team, or significant other. And that's it from me as well. So as always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.